Hello everybody, it is me, Andrew, and this is going to be a review reveal unboxing of uh, the Demon Possessed Tarot and of the Angel Evoking Tarot. So this is, um, this was a Kickstarter um, a long time ago, and this was one um, more recent than this one. And basically it is exactly what, <laughs> what it says. Um, the creator is Travis McHenry, and I fell in love with these decks from the moment I laid my eyes on them. I There was something mystical and very, um, very alluring, I guess you could say, um, about these decks. So, and the thing was, I was drawn to this one. This is, this is what the project was. But then I saw that this was an add-on and I was like, well, why not? Why would I not do this? <laughs> so um, I had been waiting on bated breath for what seems like 30 years <laughs> to get these. Um, these are the boxes that the decks came in. Um, there were some other goodies included with this. So I don't, I'm not using these boxes, but I am keeping them um, just because. Um, I, I want to keep just, I, I like these boxes. Um, I accidentally scuffed that one when I was opening it. Of course I would. Um, then you have the sigils right here on the back of the box. Just plain little tuck boxes. Um, so good for travel if you want to carry them with you somewhere. Um, this is a letter that came in the package. Um, and basically, it's just thank you for supporting the Angel Evoking Tarot. Um, he'll be launching an all-new grimoire, tentatively titled The Grimoire of Heaven and Hell. There will be a 72-card oracle deck um, accompanying it, which is amazing. And then, um, let's see, The Grimoire of Heaven and Hell will be the culmination of all my studies on demon and angel magic. So, yeah, this that'll be the um, the... Let's see, I believe, yeah. So that's really cool. So I'm I'm really, really, really excited. In October, he'll be launching another tarot deck uh, based on the life of a very controversial and horrifying figure, historical figure. So I'm pretty excited about that too. His work is absolutely phenomenal. It is Bloodstone Studios. Um, I am here for it. And is that and this deck on um, these decks also came with a piece of bloodstone which also here for me. um and i opted when i got these decks to get the actual paper uh paperback grimoires so this is the grimoire of dark souls so um Working with angels for the majority of my career, I have not ventured really into the world of demons um, or I guess lower energy spirits. Oh, that's nice. I didn't even notice it, but this is like but raised up. It's really, it's really cool. So this book is, um, this is, I was literally about to read that out loud when I first got this and I was like, how about I don't do that? Cause it says not to do that. <laughs> So it talks about a circle of protection, um, the best days to summon, that kind of stuff, astrological signs, uh, all this kind of stuff. So it's really, um, it's a really interesting book. Um, I'm, I'm interested to learn it more. Lilith is in it. Call her back. Ode to the seven gate, seventh gate. And this is number 58 of 166. So these were a limited quantity. And I guess as I started with that, I'm going to show you the demon um, possessed terror first. So it came with a little bag. And I'm totally here for the bag. I really, really like it. And I like that I can distinguish this bag from the other like 14,000 bags that I have. Um, for decks, because some decks, like, I don't, um, necessarily keep the boxes, so it's good to have a bag that's distinguishable. 
and the inside of the bag is red and the gilding on the demon possessed tarot is gold which is nice and so i actually um my dumbass actually shuffled this deck before i was going to do my unboxing so uh it might be out of order a little bit but i didn't um i didn't shuffle it that much so um we can just keep going with it and we'll see what happens so this is the page of swords and so um and i believe so like i said i'm very um very novice like when it comes to this um but there is a um i think it's called the goetica that has like all of the names of demons and stuff uh, but, so it gives you, I believe, the reference number of the demons, so like, what, when it's, what, um, in what order the demon is listed, because, um, it's not in the grimoire, grimoire, um, which I, I, I would have, I would have liked to have seen, like, because the angel one has a list of, I think, all the angels in the deck, or actually there might be a... PDF, but never mind. Um, cause like he, he sent PDFs with it too. So there's a lot going on. So I'm gonna have to look at it and make sure, but, um, if not, then I'll be getting another resource on, on this so that way I can, you know, move about it a little easier. Um, so it tells you the name of the demon. I'm assuming the name in Hebrew, this is the page of swords. So the page of swords is at the very, very top of the card. And, um, he said that, well, he said he, he got it as close as he could, <clears throat> um, as far as the, the demon to the card. So, um, Bodus or Bodus gives answers of past, present, and future and reconciles friends and foes. I can kind of see this, um, just simply because the Page of Swords is associated with that harsh truth kind of thing, like someone who, you know, wants to tell the truth, but can sometimes do it in a way that is maybe less than, uh, less than like proper, I guess we could say. So, um, I'm interested to, to see how this energy works uh, with this card. Now, this is the sigil for the demon. And to my knowledge, there are also sigil, sigils of the angels that um, keep this demon at bay. From what I've seen. And from what I've read. So. So, Five of Pentacles. So, we went from Page of Swords to Five of Pentacles. <laughs> um, Sam, Sam, Sam Agena. Um, teaches all liberal sciences, gives an account for souls that died in sin. Five of Pentacles. I guess that makes sense. And Amy. <laughs> Amy. And here's the demon, Amy. I should probably shut up. Teaches astrology and liberal sciences, reveals hidden treasure, and brings excellent familiars. Yeah, one thing that I feel like this deck um, is going to do for me is kind of put me in touch with some of the energies that people don't necessarily want to associate with. Um, because I don't believe in demons like we believe in. Like, everybody believes in demons to be like nefarious and evil. I just think they're other kinds of spirits that want to help. Um... So this is interesting, Amy. I, and I won't make fun of any names because I'm not trying to get killed. Because they're mischievous. Um, Nabarius, Seven of Pentacles, teaches arts, sciences, and rhetoric, restores lost honors and dignities, takes honor and dignity from others. So that's very interesting um, for the Seven of Pentacles. Um... I, I, I'm working, I'm working with this. I, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of here for it. Uh, but what's funny, and this is just uh, an observation that I'm making kind of off the cuff. And this might be a long video because I'm doing two decks. Um, but I'll put the timestamp for the angel portion of it. Um, I'm going to pin the comment in the description. 
So that way, if you don't want, if you want to skip the demon part, you can go straight to the angel, so, and we, you know, that's fine. <clears throat> but it says that a lot of these, like this, teaches astrology and liberal sciences. This teaches arts, sciences, and rhetoric. Um, science is not a friend of religion, um, or they don't. Religion gets all mad when science says something that contradicts what they believe. So I, I'm, I'm kind of here for the the demons that actually teach us things. Zagon turns water into wine and back again, turns blood into wine, turns any metal into legal tender coins, and makes fools wise. I'm here for it. So they're not that, they're not, I mean, they're not that shuffled. A unicorn. Amducius. Amducius? Amducius? Um, causes any manner of music to be played, causes trees to bend at will, and brings excellent familiars. The cardstock is really, is really, like, solid. I didn't know how it was going to be. I wasn't anticipating it being bad, but I I really like that it's not super, super thin, but it's also not super, super thick. Barbados understands the tongues of animals. Um, this is the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, reconciles friends and enemies. He seems nice. Let's see. Teaches astronomy and liberal sciences. A lot of these teach liberal sciences. Kind of here for it. And I do remember seeing in the Kickstarter um, that he redid some of the art too of the demon and, and kind of made it more, I guess, palatable in some cases, but also kind of made it fit the image of what the card represents. So the Knight of Pentacles teaches the virtues of herbs and stones, makes birds appear and behave as though tame. I can see this being the Knight of Pentacles, um, teaches the virtues of, er, of herbs and stones. Um, I, can, I can see that, that makes, that makes sense. Marbus is the 10 of wands. Oh, okay. So yeah, so we're a little out of order, which I already said we were gonna be. So I'm just gonna show you guys some of the ones I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna go through every single of the 78 cards, but there's one demon in here that um, messed me up a little bit. <laughs> and if I if I get to it, I'll um, I'll show you. Do, do, do. And this is one of the major Arcana cards, so it looks exactly the same. I actually am really here for this one because um, I love peacocks. And this is actually the Queen of Swords, so one of my favorite court cards. Teaches geometry and measurements, increases one's intelligence, can transform a person into a bird. I don't know why I would want to be a bird, but live your best life. This was actually the card that I drew for today, the day that I, um, it is May 23rd when I'm filming this. Um, this is one of the cards, this is, yeah, one of the cards that I drew for today, and it is the King of Pentacles, and it is Bereth. Now, as far as demons go, he looks super cute. Look at him. Like, I'm not patronizing him, so don't, like, come for me and kill me, but, like, I'm just saying, I mean, this is one of the less scary ones that I have seen. But turns any metal into gold, gives one high offices and titles, answers questions about the past, present, and future. So I'm really here for him. Um, and this is his little sigil. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm here for him. I like him. Ace of Wands teaches holy secrets, instructs how to make weapons, and the art of seduction. Harrr. And I do have a book on um, on demons on my Kindle just because, oh, okay, so one coming up. This is the one, not this one. So um, if any of you have seen the movie The Nun or any, like, The Conjuring 2 or The Nun, like, you know that nun is really, really scary. And to this day, that nun is one of the most terrifying figures to me. And I... um. Like, it's honestly to the point where, like, I sleep on the side of the bed that faces 
the bathroom. And so I make sure the bathroom door is closed because I don't want to wake up in the middle of the night and see her standing in the bathroom. Like, it's literally one of, it's like that one movie that just has fucked me up. Like, I, I, it just fucked me up. So, in the, in the movie, the demon's name, and I'll show you what the demon's name is because I don't want to speak that name. <laughs> um, not because I'm scared, but just because I'm just going to let it be because I'm not trying to fuck around. Um, but um, they spell it with a K instead of a C at the end. And that's why I can never find any information on it. And Google didn't correct me, which is stupid, um, because I wanted to find out more information. So I found that demon uh, that disguises itself as a nun in this deck. And I was like, last night I was like, holy shit. Like, what have I got myself into? But um, it is this one. Ta-da. And in the movie, they spell it with a K. Which I guess makes sense, because maybe if you misspell it, then you're not, like, unleashing it, but whatever. And tells where hidden, where treasures are hidden and reveals hidden dangers. I mean, here for it. But I'm wondering if it's the same one. Like, I, I'm, I, I am thinking it is, because a C and a K is not that big of a difference as far as sounds go. So it sounds the same. So I, I I saw this and I was like, oh okay, so this is this is what we're doing. <laughs> All right. Um. So yeah, this is the just. Oh, and that demon is associated with the wheel of fortune. I can't get over how good the camera is, and this is just on my phone. Like what? Um. Yeah. Um. And I do believe, oh, this is the devil card. Oh, here for it. I didn't even think about the devil card in this deck. <laughs> uh, um, Moloch uh, makes one worse off than ever before, tricks mortals into being bound, and accepts child sacrifice. Now, this is the devil. That's a devil card. Makes one worse than, makes one worse off than ever before. What? That's the one. Like, that's what the devil card is all about. So I'm, I'm kind of here for that. It's kind of eerie. I'm going to put that card down. We have the tower, the promoter of discord. Here. Yeah. Here for it. Um, oh, I have a button. I have a button. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, the empress procures the love of a woman of any age. Tells where treasures are hidden. Past, present, and future. Um, he's a fairly famous one, I do believe. The Fool. Okay. And there's only, like, a couple that I really want to show you. A couple more. So, Death is Lucifer. Uh, provides liberation and illumination. Incites jealousy and envy. Yeah. I'm here for it. I just want to find the one that I'm going to be using the most. Oh, I'm going to put, I'm going to take that one out in that one. Okay. Oh, you know, what's funny. I know some of these from watching, um, the chilling adventures of Sabrina. <laughs> I'm just taking out the ones that I know and then we're going to, That cardstock is luscious. Oh my god. And then I'll draw one and then we'll look at it. Okay. So Belial, um, I think everybody, I think in every horror movie, the demon's name is Belial. Um, promotes, this, distributes promotions in high offices, causes one to be liked. You can use that at work. Phoenix, who does all science, just performs wonderful poetry, follows all requests with excellence. Queen of Cups. Stolas. So, Stolas in the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, and I'm not sure about this um, particular demon in this deck, but Stolas was the companion of Lilith that Lucifer gave her. Baphomet. So, um, I actually have this phone case, and it's like a Lisa Frank Baphomet, and I got this shortly after um, Dorian Virgie made her A to Z list of, like, unicorns substituting their glittery light for the light of Jesus. And I saw this on, and I was like, oh, okay, cool. Here for it. 
Um, so the magician card is Baphomet, gives health and financial prosperity, connects one safely with the divine. So 100% here for it. And then Malthus. So everybody knows like what a Hail Mary is, like a Hail Mary pass. Like, you know, well, Sabrina has said, um, Hail Malthus, a Hail Malthus pass. And I was like, oh, really? And so then I was reading the PDF that came with the deck and I was like, oh, Malthus is in this. So... Uh, and now here he is, or here they are. Builds houses and high towers, destroys an enemy's thoughts and desires and all they have built, and gives good familiars. Ten of swords. So if you're working with these energies, you really can't give a fuck about the other person because, like, they might just absolutely destroy them. Um, but I'm honestly here for this deck because I think you have to have kind of a foot in both worlds and... I think to fully understand the light, you have to understand the darkness. And you have to realize that just like in the books, The House of Night, the goddess Nyx um, told, I think Zoe is her name, that um, that darkness does not always bring evil, just as light doesn't always bring good or something like that. Something to that effect, but you get what I'm saying. And I really resonated with that because... These energies are not inherently bad. It's what they've been made to seem like. So I'm, I'm honestly here for it. Um, I really, really like this. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna draw a card for us. Oh, and did I even show you the back? I forgot what sigil it is on the back because I'm a horrible show and teller. And thank you for hanging in with me in this video. This has only been one deck. <laughs> So we have the Eight of Pentacles. So the Eight of Pentacles is the Eight of Pentacles is a card that really speaks to us about the work that we're doing. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Um, it speaks to us about the work that we're doing and acknowledges the hard work that we have done. This card is associated with the demon Zagan or Zagan. Um, and I mean, to me, this looks like a, a card that's associated with work. Water into wine and back again. Blood into wine. Any metal into legal tender coins. So um, if you look at the eight of pentacles, it's someone who's working on eight like metal pentacles. So this makes sense. It makes fools wise because work can make you wise. So I'm, I'm here for that. Um, so that was the card from the Demon Possessed Tarot. So that was the Demon Possessed Tarot um, by Travis McHenry. And now we are going to move on to the um, Angel Evoking Tarot. I am going to put this deck up in its little bag very carefully because I love this deck so much. Okay. So now I'm going to put this as the little divider so that way people know that this is coming up next. I'm gonna move the grimoire over here. Um, so the Angel Evoking Tarot, um, like I said, is the one that initially drew me in. And then I found the Demon Possessed Tarot and I was like, well, you can't have one without the other. So this Kickstarter did so well. I believe it was like 2,000% <laughs> funded. If I'm not mistaken, I believe it was 2,000% um, funded. And because it did so well, we got a lot of really cool add-ons. I believe like the little bags were add-ons. Um, like, were like stretch goals. But one of the coolest stretch goals is actually this, uh, this box. And it has the Tree of Life on it. It is velvet. And it's a little latch box. And it's what the deck can be kept in. So I really, really, really like it a lot. Um... It's really, it's honestly super sturdy. I, I'm, and I really, really, like, I, I adore the Tree of Life on here. I, admittedly, I do not know much about the Tree of Life um, because I, I'm one of those people that, like, I want to study everything and then I end up studying nothing because I get so overwhelmed. And, and so that's the, that's the box. And I don't know if I'll keep the deck in here. I might keep crystals in this box. But I wanted to show it to you for this purpose. And then this is a little bag. Uh, for the angel evoking tarot um, and it is burgundy with like silver on the inside and this is the grimoire 
with the, um, or the Angenomicon, sorry, the Angenomicon. So it's uh, raised and silvery and a burgundy color. Um, so now this one actually does have quite a bit of information because um, it actually is a bit thicker than the Grimoire of Dark Souls. Um, so, oh, I also forgot something, something else I wanted to show you guys too. So basically, um, there's a lot of biblical references, obviously. Um, so it kind of explains a little bit about the the connection between the divine name and 72 angels, um, the hierarchy of angels. So there's really a lot in here. Principalities, angels, archangels, zodiac angels. Um, this does differ a little bit from the, or a lot of it from the um, Dorian Virtue type angels that we know and love. Uh, but I'm actually really interested. So you have... Basically, the angel, what their throat, what their uh, what their name means, the um, I guess category uh, that they come from. You have a um, uh, a psalm. It looks like then you have those born under this angel. So this one in, is um, I I L I I E I E I L. Um, rules over the fortune, renown, diplomacy, and commerce, influences voyages and discoveries, and maritime expeditions, it protects against tempests and shipwrecks. So, and then you have a sigil beside them. <coughs> <sighs> Sorry. That pretty much follows the same, um, the same thing. This is the six angels or six of the archangels. So you have Michael, you have Metatron, Gabriel, Haniel, Samael, Uriel, Conjuring Circle for Any Spirit, How to Conjure an Angel, um, the Grand Pentacle of Solomon, Invocation to Summon the Angelic Spirits, super long. But I think if you're doing this, like you need to like actually be um, in it to win it. You have to do this, like it, to work with this deck, that's what's recommended. So you have times of the day, times of the year, periods of days and things like that. And this is 197 of 300. So it's a good little guidebook um, for the angels. Okay, so now let's look at the cards. So let me get these out of this little box. Oops. So, um, one thing that I wish the Demon Possessed Tarot had that I think probably came with the Kickstarter when it first happened was I love this little thing. Like, so this is, like, even if you didn't get the grimoires, like, you have a little doohickey in here, a little bookie poo that tells you kind of about the deck. I wish the Demon Possessed Tarot had come with this. Um, and so that way I could carry it with me and just always have this. Um, so, basically, the 72 angels of the Kabbalah connect with the power of the divine name as their names are devised through a series of mathematical and alphabetical per permutations exercised by the ancient Kab Kabbalists, or Kabbalists, whatever. So, this says how to use the deck, evocation, meditation, and divination. So, it gives you the way to evoke an angel, which I am super excited to try. Um, I also don't know if I'm going to do a demon or an angel verse. <laughs> Meditation, divination, three-card answer, Celtic cross divination, and invocation, one-card answer. And so it gives you the seven, it gives you the layout of the Celtic cross and then tells you how to do it here. Then it gives you, um, so like in the deck, the tarot correspondence, the angelic number, the angelic name, meaning of the name, astrological meaning, of the card and the angel, angel's office and abilities, summoning sigil and the pentacle of Tuzgarek. The back of each card is an invo is the invocation to summon the angel in small print surrounding the grand pentacle of Solomon. This pentacle serves to reconcile the benevolence of good spirits and granulize and destroy our fear. So, okay, I'm here for that. I really wish the Demon Possessed Hero had come with this. Really, really, really bad. 
Um, but I still love it and I'm still gonna work with it. And that just leads me down a rabbit hole of discovering more about those energies. Um, so the, like I said, the angel evoking tarot is one that is what drew me to the whole project. Um, so I'm super excited to be sharing that with you. Um, so the gilding on this deck is silver. Uh, and this is the invocation of the angel and this is the, um, the pentacle. Um, so like I said, I did shuffle this deck, <laughs> um, cause I was using it this morning. So I apologize. It's going to be a little out of order. Um, and we're going to kind of breeze through this one just a little bit. Um, so we have the emperor and this is Mikhail, like unto God, um, political authority, um, gives safe travels and protects against conspiracies. I'm going to actually, um, we're going to go, we're going to look at the Empress, the Fool, uh, the Queen of Cups. I'm going to show you kind of my favorite cards in tarot, which is probably what I should have done with the, um, <laughs> with the Demon Possessed Tarot, but I don't, I don't know. I just show up. Um, Queen of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords. And you can see the border on these cards are burgundy. So they're really, really, really pretty. And I'm just so here for it. Like it is a gorgeous deck. Like I, I, I just, the work that went into this is ridiculous. I'm still gonna be showing you guys a lot of cards. I just didn't wanna be like all over the place when it came to I'm showing you the cards that I wanted you to see. Um, and you can just scrub through this part because I'm not going to edit it out. <laughs> um, okay, so I think I should be good. Okay, so I'm going to put these cards. Once again, great card stock over here. Okay, so now let's talk about some angels. I really don't want this video to be like an hour long because I'm going to have to upload it before I go to work. <laughs> so I'm still showing you guys like a lot of cards. <laughs> so death is Mumaya, Mumaya, um, and name means God, the end of the universe. So endings and rebirth influences health and longevity. Makes sense. The hanged man, the only God, desire for knowledge, protects from liars, evil spells, and bad spirits. The world is Dhammabaya, fountain of wisdom, gives success in all ventures. Ace of Cups, Nithael, God, the king of heaven, rejuvenation, obtains the mercy of God and gives long life. Totally makes sense for the Ace of Cups card. Seven of Wands, Sahaya, God who took evil. Longevity and protects against infirmities. Ten of Pentacles, Monadel, the honorable god, inner and outer work, helps one keep their job, protects against disasters. Ace of Wands, the patient god, Omael, fertility and multiplicity, protects against despair, helps one be patient. I need that one. Um, Queen of Swords, Hamaya, god, the hope of all the earth. Wow. Uh, ritual and ceremony can acquire treasures of heaven and earth. The magician is Nithaya, the generous god. Uh, spiritual wisdom and magic helps one gain wisdom and discover hidden secrets. The star is Vasariya, god, the just. Clemency and equilibrium protects against attacks in the courts. Interesting. The moon, Gabriel. I do... More so picture Haniel to be the moon card. Um, but that's fine. Gabriel, God is my strength. Divine revelation reveals messages and has the power to destroy. It makes sense. Like I the 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 meaning of the angel. I just I'm, I'm always used to seeing Haniel. Uh High Priestess, I Lahaya. Oh, success. And protection from magistrates? Maybe presidents? Hmm. The devil, Samael, the sought the severity of God. Seduction and downfall communicates with the dead, teaches the occult and magic. Ooh. Ace of Swords, Umabel, 
God above all names elevated, affinity and friendship obtained the friendship of anyone. Queen of Pentacles, Mabahaya, the eternal God. Intellectual lucidity provides consolation and compensation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Queen of Wands, Elamaya, the hidden God, divine power guards against mental troubles. Here for it. Nine of Pentacles. Um, Ayahuaya. 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 We'll go with that. The omniscient God. Submission to higher order um, identifies traitors and destroys their plans. I guess. For Nine of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Um, Kahafel. Kahafel. The adored God. Uh, divine blessings drives away evil spirits. Rules against agriculture. Rules. Oh, <laughs> wrong. Up. Rules against. Rules agricultural production. Queen of Cups. Pahalaya. God the Redeemer. Uh, redemption serves against enemies of religion. Governs chastity. Hmm. The Fool. Vehuaya. The Exalting God. Will and new beginnings assist in difficult and great undertakings. The Empress, Mihail, God, Father, the Generous. Fertility and fruitfulness assures peace between married couples. Nice. So this deck is really, is honestly amazing too. I am so freaking like, oh my God. I just, I feel like there's so much symbolism that I could just be like, melted into you. <laughs> oh, okay. So I was going to draw a card, but a card decided they just wanted to come out. So the card for all of us is the Ten of Cups. I mean, it is High Isle. High Isle. God, Master of the Universe. Divine Warrior confounds the wicked and brings victory and peace. The Ten of Cups is a card of peace it is a card of happiness. It is a card of peace in a family. Um, so, yeah, I'm here for it. This is really pretty. <sighs> Excuse me. Oh, um, and let's see. There was something else I wanted to show. Oh, yeah. So, it also came with a poster of sorts. Um, Angels of the Kabbalah. So, you have a nice little... Uh, parchment poster type thing. And then um, you have just a couple four angels on here. So that's cool and their invocations and what they're there for. Pretty nice. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with these because I don't want them to get messed up. But I also can't hang stuff in my house that's not, that's just for me. Um, whatever. But, um, so yeah, that was the uh, review, reveal, show and tell of the um, angel evoking tarot and the demon possessed tarot. Um, the art is still stunning the work that went into making this deck i cannot even imagine it is um it's definitely a it was a great undertaking um and, and i am very 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 grateful um to have them here and to have them in kind of in my practice and travis has been amazing um, during this whole process because I've been berating him because I'm like, oh my God, are you, is it shipping yet? Is it shipping yet? What's going on? What's going on? Every shipping, every like update, I'd be like, he, he would be giving Kickstarter. I'm like, oh my God, I need it. <laughs> like, I want this. Uh, so I am glad that I finally have it. Um, I am going to be um, using these in my practice um, only for those that request them, this is a request only um, deck. I'm not going to be offering that I, I mean, unless I'm offering a reading that people can consciously buy knowing that these decks are gonna be used. Um, 
that's going to kind of be the um, the I'll back the stipulation for this. Like, I'm not just going to use these in any random reading. So if you want a reading with these with this deck with both of these decks together, because that's how the reading will come, it's going to be one of those where you're going to know that that's what you're getting. Um, because I don't want to spring this kind of shit on anybody. Um, but yeah, I hope that you liked this video. Um, give it a thumbs up. If you give it a thumbs up, and then if you're not subscribed, then you can do so somewhere down here. But please don't give my video a thumbs down. Like if you don't like it, then don't be a petty bitch and give me a thumbs down because apparently I got random thumbs down or thumb downs on like a video that was a free card draw. <laughs> like, it's like, shut the fuck up already. Um, but yeah, um, my Oracle deck is actually available for pre-order at the link in my bio. <laughs> and I'm also going to link Travis's information um, in the description so you can find out where these will be at now that the Kickstarter is over. So he may have these on his website. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I hope you don't hate me for talking about demons. <laughs> love and light, guys. Bye.